Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, Positioning. We're going to be talking a little bit about why positioning matters. We're going to define positioning, talk about a few different strategies, and uh, talk a little bit about how you can craft a positioning statement. Uh, we have a great presentation today, and there's a lot to get through, uh, including a really good example of uh, effective positioning. Today, I'm here with Jerry Rackley, our VP of Marketing, who will be going through the slides. And as Jerry's going through the slides, I'll be monitoring the chat to see if anyone has any questions. Uh, if you do, please don't hold back. We'd love to hear from you. And in fact, we want this uh, webinar to be as interactive as possible. If we can't get to your question during the presentation, we've reserved a few minutes towards the end where we can answer some questions. And of course, we'd love to continue the dialogue uh, offline and also online at our LinkedIn group, uh, as well as on our blog. So again, uh, without further ado, I'll introduce Jerry, our presenter today. Jerry, the floor is all yours. Thank you, John, and we appreciate everyone who came to this webinar today. Before we jump into our topic, I just want to say we do want your feedback. Uh, there is a mechanism for asking questions, and we hope that you'll use that. And here's something I want to plant in your mind right now. We have done several of these webinars, and they seem to be well received. When we put the recorded versions up on our website, they get good traffic. So I'm very interested in understanding what future webinar topics you'd like to see from Demand Metric. So if you have any thoughts about that, we encourage you to share that as well as any questions or comments you have. We always welcome your feedback on the value and the quality that you're getting from these sessions. So let's go ahead and jump into our topic and talk about why positioning matters. I love positioning because it is a very practical activity, yet it has tremendous strategic value. And positioning matters because it really helps you understand how your company and solutions are positioned in the marketplace. And it helps you determine you know, how you define who you are and what you do. Uh, we talk a lot about marketing strategy, and it gets lots of attention, rightfully so, it should. But positioning is kind of one of those fundamental building blocks or cornerstones of a marketing strategy and lots of other things that you do. So positioning also kind of helps you determine what place or position you occupy in your chosen markets. Most companies uh, really understand well the markets they've chosen to compete in, but sometimes, uh, in an unintentionally, they allow their positioning to be sort of determined by chance or accidentally. And, and it should be a very deliberate, intentional thing that you do to develop positioning for your company and its products. And also positioning determines who your competitors are. So depending on how you position yourself, you'll run into different competitors. And positioning certainly accounts for your competitors as you go through and develop it. So that's why positioning matters. Let's talk about what it applies to. It certainly applies at a company level. You can position your company, and you should. But you also can position the individual products and services that you provide. And really, as we go through the material today, that's going to be the focus of our discussion is positioning at the product level. Uh, positioning is a key ingredient for product marketing plans. It's a key ingredient for all your marketing communications. And here's an important thing, I think, to understand about positioning. When you've done it well, it makes it very easy to create your marketing communications, to develop marketing plans when you don't have positioning in place. And usually it's, it's unintentional just because marketing organizations don't realize they need to do this. Then it becomes much more difficult, that degree of difficulty to produce quality communications, messages, and materials goes way up in the absence of positioning. So if you haven't done the positioning work for your company and its products, and you do it, you'll discover how much easier it is to start doing all these other very important marketing tasks. So let's go into an example of what positioning is. And I want to start with this company right here. And I, I wish I was in the classroom. I do, by the way, teach this at the college level, and, and I love presenting this slide to my college students. Because I ask them this question, I get the same answer from most of them, and that is everyone understands Harley-Davidson sells motorcycles. In fact, it's right there on their logo. But let's take another look at it. This is what a Harley-Davidson executive said. And I'm just going to read the quote. What we sell is the ability for a 43-year-old accountant to dress in black leather, ride through small towns, and have people be afraid of him. 
And so if I had phrased the question on the previous slide a little differently, in fact, even left the logo off and said, name a motorcycle brand whose riders convey a tough guy attitude, I suspect most of you would have responded with Harley Davidson. So this is a real simple example of positioning that works really well and is very effective. So let's talk a little bit more about precisely what positioning is. Uh, it's a tool, really. It's a communications tool that helps you reach your target customers in a marketplace that's really crowded. It's crowded with other competitors and lots of competing messages. So you do positioning because it helps you overcome all of the noise in the marketplace that's being produced by companies that compete directly with you and companies that don't, but they're still out there throwing lots of messages out that can be distractions. And a lot of companies attempt to overcome that noise level with just volume and frequency. If we just pump enough messages out there with enough frequency, use a big enough bullhorn, people will hear us. Well, that's, that's sort of the brute force approach. Positioning is the much more sophisticated, intelligent approach to overcoming that issue. It helps you be really precise about who you are and what you do which then lets you connect directly with the customers who need you, it lets you stand out with the crowd. So uh, hopefully what I've said so far kind of conveys a sense that conceptually positioning is pretty easy to understand, but it's not necessarily easy to do. And we'll discover more about that in just a moment. Let's talk about some terms. First, a position. What is that? Well, it's simply a, a territory that you stake out, conceptually, of course, in the marketplace, saying this is, this is the niche that we are going to pursue. Positioning is that act of developing your positioning and documenting that in a positioning statement. It's a very strategic activity, and ideally, to do it well, you need to involve the leaders of your company. So, for example, if you're doing this at a product level, you want to have the product manager involved. You want to have the marketing folks involved. You probably even want to have some of the executives of the company involved, any of the leaders or stakeholders, uh, to help you develop that positioning. Because one thing you want is you want buy-in. Because sometimes a position you create for a product can be a little controversial. So that's why you want to get everyone involved at the beginning to make sure that you have buy-in for it. Then, of course, the positioning statement is simply the expression uh, of what your market position is. I'll tell you from my experience, I've spent hours in a conference room in front of a whiteboard um, wordsmithing what looks to be a very simple statement, but it's, but it's very important that it be precise and that it be honest. And so it's, it's the fruit, if you will, one of the fruits of your positioning efforts is your positioning statement. Let me get a little bit more practical. Here's what a positioning statement helps you do. It helps you answer this question, why should I buy from you? So I would challenge you right now to think about how do you answer that question? And there's lots of ways this question can be answered. Uh, and let me talk about a few of those ways. Uh, I'll tell you at the very beginning, differentiation is critical to positioning well. And so the best answers to that question, why should I buy from you, are the ones that reveal what your differentiation is. When I have worked with clients on positioning, what I often hear from them when I ask why do people buy from you, the answer is price. And so I want to stop here for a moment just talk about that because I would ask you, is price a good answer? And I would welcome your comments to that question. I'm going to give you my opinion, and my opinion is that price is not a good answer. Um, very few companies can successfully sustain a differentiation based on price. And the problem with price is you may have the differentiation when it comes to price today, but tomorrow your competitors could decide to match or beat your price. And so you can get into a game where you're using a lever to differentiate yourself in terms of price that everyone has at their disposal. So it can really not be a very strong way to differentiate yourself. The best answers do come from your core competencies. What are the things that you do uniquely, that you do well? What are you best at? What can you do or deliver that no one else can? And that's an important question. And this, or these, these questions right here are the ones that make positioning difficult. 
because you may be saying to yourself, well, we don't really have strong positioning. We're, we're kind of more commoditized, whether you want to be or not. And, and that is an issue when it comes to marketing and positioning yourself successfully. So sometimes what you have to do is kind of make a strategic pause 